the uh, long-term um, analysis that um, we presented showed that um, there was continued benefit with um, repretinib in um, advanced um, GIST. Um, and um, basically, um, um, continued benefit in terms of the um, um, uh, impressive uh, progression-free survival um, uh, benefit that was seen in the um, um, initial analysis. So for the um, updated analysis, the median PFS was 6.3 months compared to one month. Um, and uh, in, in terms of the uh, progression-free survival at six months for repretinib, it was um, uh, 51% compared to 3.2% for um, placebo. Similarly, for progression-free survival at 12 months, it was 22.2% uh, for repretinib, not available for placebo. For progression-free survival at 18 months, it was 11.8% for repretinib, and the objective response rate was um, nearly 12% for repretinib and zero for um, uh, placebo. And the um, uh, duration of response uh, for uh, the median duration of response for repretinib was 14.5 um, months. So uh, the updated analysis confirmed the uh, benefit of um, repretinib um, as fourth line um, therapy for um, advanced GIST. And there were similar findings for the overall survival um, analysis as well. So um, just to um, highlight this, the overall survival at 24 months for a repretinib was 42.8% compared to 19.8% for um, placebo. And as I mentioned, um, uh, safety, um, the safety profile of uh, repretinib was similar uh, with the updated analysis. And in terms of next steps, um, the results of the um, randomized phase three trial in the second line setting of repretinib versus sunitinib has been um, a surprise to many in the sarcoma uh, community. This trial randomized patients with disease progression on imatinib to receive either sunitinib or repretinib as second line therapy with progression free survival again as the um, primary endpoint. There was no significant difference in um, progression free survival between the two arms, um, but a very um, favorable um, side effect profile with uh, repretinib. So, in essence, currently, Amatinib remains first line therapy, sunitinib as second line therapy, rigorafenib as third line therapy, and uh, repretinib as fourth line therapy. There are a number of uh, interesting drugs in development, and I'm sure that the treatment landscape for advanced gastrointestinal stromal tumor will change over the next few years.